Once more, we are in Valencia, Spain, at the Hombu Dojo in, from Europe, uh, and we are going to see uh, the daily training that we are having here in, in the school, the, the intensive training of Shidosh Tiago and Sensei Luis. Uh, they are having a very long period of study uh, this evening, and we are going to interview them uh, to see what they are doing and what they can teach us today. Here we have a Shidosh Tiago, and he's going to explain, he's going to explain us uh, all about uh, the training of today. Okay, sure, thank you. What we, what we were studying today is what is called Ikari, what you call the study of the anchors. You know, the anchors in Jiu-Jitsu were the, the ways they found, that the foundation they had in, um, concerning the Renkaku forms or the close quarter method of fighting which they had. So let's see some examples here. First of all, we are in a close quarter situation and let's say he's, he will try to enter, he will take my arm off and well, let's see. Uh, when, we, when we speak about Ikari, about anchoring, we, um, we can talk about how we can, please enter Ikataguruma, when we use our weight to restrain a shoulder or to restrain um, the chain of movements you know, in the biokinetics of his body, or we can also speak about a, um, a Ikari Jutsu with a higher degree of violence. Say, in this same example, as he tries, we have already genitals and throat and eye at the same time. These are not the end of the technique. These, these are just you know, a means to give me the condition to, for example, gain his sight or gain his shoulder or gain his back to continue a technique. So let's see one more time some examples in which he can and he cannot use his own passages. So, for example, he will try uh, any form. He'll take my arm off and he will try, for example, if I, if I have my, my leg retreated and I have my weight over his capula, from here, you see, I have very slowly, I can show you all here, fingers and thumb, you know, crossing his throat, like this, of course, in a very violent way which is part of Nodonoki, which we just saw, which is by itself an, an, uh, anchor, an anchor point. So, once I'm here, I have the atemi, we have ear, we have, you know, nose, tearing nose off, just to give me the condition to continue a technique. For example, if I get, if I got his, the side of, of his body and he know it, you know how dangerous this could be, just got my arm like this. He will try to come along and he will try to block this arm. The reason for that is that if we do it one more time, I was by his side. By his side he knows I can get to, to his back. And from here, just as one example, I got him here, I may take his, his leg and And have leg, and having ashi, and have several locks. After uh, I got him down, so once I got the side of his body, I'm here one more time. He knows the danger of this situation. He will do his ikari points as he just did. He will, he will get here and and get my arm. So you see, he has leg, and he has my arm. So I cannot reach easily. Eyes, nose, throat. So. What I have to do here is, I have to anchor in myself, so he cannot have this lock mm -hmm. on my elbow. And once I'm here, I will lock first his, his hand, so I can back to my original position, you know? So now that I, I am here, I will um, start my own movement, and I will try to perform a Ryo Ashiotoshi, or Morotegari, I want to say this, from here. So as he will try to do this, the, same, the same technique I got here, but before he can manage to put his, to use his ikari point, I have one more time, genitals which you need to strike and uh, extract or take it off, like this, we have chin, we have throat, so by knowing this, what he's going to do is, 
He will get very close to us first and he will isolate this arm. Then, okay, then he just got my side, the side of my body. So you see, from here, let's rotate, so you can all see. From here, he could not manage to get to, to, the, to the front. What happens is, I can anchor his head from here and have eye, nose one more time, have chin, have even ear. They would use how to, uh, how to attack ear in this movement and um, something like stabbing it through like this fully and so on. So from here, what I can do is I can take him down and uh, perform the so known the Yoko Kanyasami, which is from here and having an, a leg lock already. Those forms are very interesting. So, what was I can learn from Hikari are not only forms but uh, applying in different, different areas that we that interest us in a way to annulate or to counter attack. Uh, the opponent. And isn't right? Yes, yes. And not only that, but um, a mean, it is a means which one can find a technical mean which gives him the chance to keep his technique and, uh, and adding a higher degree of violence in his own technique. Mm -hmm. Let's see some examples that Luis has to show us. Yes, for example, as we are talking about Ikari no Iko, we are talking about techniques to, to anchor it, is to say, this case to stop and regain a position that not only avoids himself to perform the technique but gives us the conditions to, to are in advantage. Then, in this case, he is, for example, uh, performing Morote um, Kagyotoshi coming here. And if I don't avoid in this situation, he will come very strong and take it to the ground. For example, this, do it. Then I am completely not only the fall, but I am completely at his disposition because he could perform whatever kind of uh, ankle lock, knee lock, or whatever. Then we have the need to stop this situation, and we have thousands of forms in order to perform the Ikari. As we have seen before, in this case, when he is trying, we have the eye, we have uh, the throat that we can. Uh, perform another nuki that is to take out you know, <laughs> or tear uh, the throat and for example in this case we are talking about biomechanical situation that avoids him to come here that for example we can reach here in this point in order to avoid and have the anchor because moreover we are stopping and avoiding his throat moreover that we are gaining a situation that will help us in order to throw. Uh, in this case, we can go, for example, here to the ground, take here, and go to the side. Here, we have a side position and we could perform whatever. But in spite of this, the anchor could go to the eye, during the nose, having this up and breaking, for example, uh, the neck or whatever. Then, in this case, he needs to avoid in an anchor situation, this position. Then, when he is coming here, and I perform this situation, he will try to go to my side, for example, in this situation. Then for here, it's impossible to me, because I am completely uh, at his disposition. Then from here, we have the conditions to grab here the knee, and take apart, in order to have a better control, taking his hands, and passing, for example, to this side. Let's turn here. And we have this condition. Then we have the groin area. In order to, to reach this point, we could hit here, pass to this side here, taking out the eye or whatever. Then from this situation, in order to end the technique, I'm not going farther on the explanation. From here, I will perform, for example, Ayoko Tomuenagi. Then from here, taking this control, go out very close to him because if not, if he is away from me, he's far from me, he could perform 
what are all the same anchors that we have been explaining. Then from here, let's go from here to throw. Go over to the side control, and for here, the same. We can go to this arm, performing here the elbow lock, or we can go, for example, to a Juji Dame control. Then, as we have seen, yeah, the techniques have thousands of applications, but the idea is always to have in mind how we can not only stop it, but regain in a situation in order to anchor the enemy and don't let him to, to have control of myself. Yes, now if we can add a bit to this explanation, this was the basis, the foundation we just saw. Now let's see some three examples in which we very slowly will go showing how malicious it can be and how dangerous the, uh, each passage can be in this study. So for example, let's just say he will try to get near to us and to enter any technique he would like to. For example, once I am here, I took my hip off, he's still standing, and I I just put my anchor in this side of my of, of his leg, so he cannot he does not have the power to, to keep his movement. Let's see. From this point, once I got my arm free, he already has some troubles in here. Because, first of all, we may add just this, which is to grab skin from here. Let's let's take a look. Let's take a closer look to this to see the violence which this is. People do not understand this. Um, uh, in a more in a, a more real situation, in Renkaku and in Ikari, this means that, for example, once I got here, I will use skin, for example, of the neck, of nipples, of uh, even muscles, ribs, you no know, striking, and taking ribs for, for example, perform any technique. Let's say a simple ashtos. If I'm here. And I'll enter an ashita also, I could do it after grabbing his nipples from here. I'll do like this, not to, uh, to cause any injury to our sensei, but this would also be done like this, this and this. Let's recall that uh, ancient masters were uh, so strong they could take pieces of, of trees you know, with uh, their bare hands and even to, to smash um, a tiny pieces of bamboo. You know, so let's do it from here. Once I got here, say I got head, I got head, and I have just taken his his shoulder in the zikari position just to be able to have this. And Ashita also could be fully performed from here, for example, by taking nipple off, taking nipple off, genitals, I smash the head to ground. So here I have not an anchor, but in, in, in a supporting point here. Which could give me, say, for example, he knows the danger of this, so he could try to take his arm, this arm off. From here, it's the danger over myself. His hand near genital, his hand near ribs, his hand near my nipples. So, the studies of the floor, this and this kind of, um, the study of these passages can be quite valid. Let's see one more time. Let's suppose um, I'm here and he tried. Let's say the same still in a gate as he just did. So I took my hip off and got here. Knowing the danger of what we just did, he will uh, go back to his original position. Now it's my time to gain genital and uh, even to continue, say, the Pateguruma from here. Or we could, by entering, having access to this, strike, 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 smashing nose and say, Already hitting uh, me over his over his face, hitting, smashing, gaining arm, and again, and well, you see, it could be an endless sequence. But what we really want to show is that the degree of violence in the classical renkaku, in the classical jujutsu, and ikari forms is something quite interesting when performed in a constructive and healthy way. Thank you very much, uh, Shido Stiano and Sensei Luis. Thank you for all this information and explanation that, that you both have done today. We will let you uh, train because uh, I know uh, that's very important for your formation 
and we will see you tomorrow and follow we will see you next time uh, keep watching our channel and we will see more interesting things here at Valencia have a good day